How's it going YouTube? It's Elliot Place here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange guys. This is the second episode. Um, I think it's called No Time Left. So we're going to get straight into it and let's do it. Like Again, like I said last episode, it's all going to be in one full episode. I know people won't watch the full thing. Uh, some people will, but it all depends. But if you do, then thank you very much. Even if you just watch a little bit of it, I'm still appreciative, guys, but just chill with me for these two hours. I think it's on for normally. So chill with me these two hours, grab a drink, grab some snacks, and just chill out. And let's have a good time. And In the previous episode of Life is Strange... Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia, without a word, without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? Tell me the truth, that's an order. I didn't black out, I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. All right. Story-based game features player choice, the consequences of all the action decision will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. As always. I like this actually does contribute to like what happens and like some other things. Shut up alarm. Get out, I don't wanna get up yet. Girl, I'm I'm too tired, bro. It's nothing worse than an alarm. Bro, worst sound you could hear in the morning is an alarm clock. Like for real, it's crazy. You do some homework, girl. You doing that homework, girl? You don't not entertainment. Noise. My room's really messy. Like Jesus. I guess I'm the last one. I hate messy. I have a messy room. I can't have a messy room. Not for too long, anyways. If my room is messy, I always will tidy it like sooner or later. Cause it just it annoys the crap out of me, dude. Gonna do chicken on a trip. Look at all those chickens! Oh my god. Pretty cool room. Like, I've never been like in a dorm room because like we're not in America. Well, I'm not in America, anyways. So we don't have like dorm rooms here. Like some colleges, I am yeah, so have, like, wrecked after campuses staying up and stuff, all night. But I could use my rewind to catch a few more Z's, but maybe I better save my strength. Uh, it's mostly like uni that have campuses but a lot of them are close to home so you tend to just like go for your classes and go home so it's not really often being a superhero is dirty stick. work i need to shower shower man shower girl good morning clothes i hope you slept well now shall it be my gucci shirt with the vuitton jacket always dude always now i have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story I don't know, we got messages though. Who do we get messages on? Chloe! Eh, uh, where are we? Oh God, so many messages, dude. You there, hippie? What about the fucker still? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smart ass. I need your help. Like, when you told Stepdog it was your weed, but for reals, we need to talk. 
Oh, eat an ass, bust a breakfast at two wheels, my treat. Sword, it's good to have minions. Got a bill, master. Breakfast is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji. Sad face. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late or I'll... No, time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room on my way. You are evil. 40 minutes or else. Or else what, girl? Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem. That guy's an asshole. Yeah. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Love attack of all there. Oh my god. No Modern time. Take your power seriously. Yes. Got to that morning selfie. Post it on my Instagram, innit? My dudes. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? Probably not, right? Let's go for sure. Supplies, motherfucker. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Don't hit the showers, that's important. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I yeah, am that's so Queen Victoria. Sorry. Oh, 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 sweet Jesus. Alright, rewinding time. It's worn out of that. I'd be a nice person. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Think first. Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Got him. Wow, now You're that welcome. was close. Thank you, Max. No problem. No problem at all, girl. This actual. It always does have pretty consequences. Why can't you just let me be who I want to do? And be and shit. Well, bah. Dude, come on. No. That's rude. Don't do that. Poor kid, man. Why is everyone such assholes to kid, dude? Like, for real, though. Hey, Julia, what's going on? Whatever girl? they're watching must be hot stuff. Hot. For real, though. Oof. Yeah, get it, girl. Yeah, yeah. Turn the goddamn music down. People sleeping. Yeah, girl, jeez. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. Oh my that's god, awesome, girl. Dana. Oh, that's so good. At least we're showing our faces oh together in public. Awesome, so you girl. absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not bitch. big on cosplay. He's not my bitch. Don't let life pass He's you by, boy. Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Sure. Why not, dude? Why the fuck not? Hell if yeah. If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the <laughs> spirit, Max. Room. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like whoop, fun. Whoop. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hell yeah. Hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. What are you insinuating, Max? Girl, why are you? What's it? That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. That's a dope dude. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm going for a shower, girls. Peace out, girls, girl. Hello, Juliet. What's hey, up, Max. Girl? Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Hey, 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 hey. That's not cool. Why should I? Because yeah, it's fucking I? hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Yeah. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Exactly. Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Eh, uh, what about Victoria? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's Thank the you. spirit. Thanks, Juliet. I appreciate sure. that. Sure. Talk to you later. Peace out, Girl Scout. What's up? Hey, Brooke. Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Uh, did you see the snow? 
Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? It was yesterday? crazy, girl. I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. Yeah, I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, Are you being serious? Since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Meteorologists can't explain it, but Warren can. Yeah, that sounds legit, dude. How can Warren explain it and the other ones can't? What's up, Kate? Hey, girl, what's up? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. No problem. Anytime. That guy has issues. He's a bit of an asshole. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, That's a do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. <laughs> Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? Sure. I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Awesome. Let's have a shove on my dude. Ah, nice refreshing shower in the morning. Nothing better. It's always good to have a shower in the morning. Feel refreshed and good to start the day off. What's oh, up, Kate? Here comes the bitch squad. School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Oh my god, right. Why not? Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. Leave it alone. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Just leave the poor girl alone. Oh, boo hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. You guys and are you assholes. know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Preach it, sister. Yeah. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions good. took their sweet time bringing me a towel. You deserve it, girl. We ran all the way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Hey, you got something to say, girl? Say it to my face. That's right. That's right. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. Rude. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You're <laughs> such an evil biatch. Oh, I God. love it. <laughs> right in the HTTP and all as well. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I sold actually put it online as well, like. It's a bit crazy how it's like its own URL as well, that's like. I better get dressed and go get back, Kate. Blah, blah, blah. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Trust no one. Yep, that's for fucking sure in this school. Alter to the universe. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Gross, Max. Gross. Rachel is a whore. That's mean. Right, let's go and get that book for Kate, I guess. Look at me. I am Max. Oh my god. Why would you do that? Where's me, my, my little dude gone? My poker face dude. One in civilians, come on. Yeah. Alright. Oh, what? Uh, no fucking way. You serious? Come on. This is not why I came to Blackwell. 
And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's bro. book. What douche nozzle? Oh, of course she just bananas. spilled soda on Kate's book. Well done. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book Bada, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Well done, girl. Move Be gone, glass. foul soft drink. Oh, God. <laughs> Be gone. Aha, you book. sneaky book. You're mine. Yeah. What a queen. Let's water this plant again. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Hell yeah. Is that going to have consequences? Yep. Kill you. Alright, let's go and... Phone you. Is anyone else text with? I know what unloved. Aww. I need to get dressed before I go there. God damn it. Why? Can I just go back out in your pants Maybe again? Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Yep. Nice that you don't want to change your clothes, developers. I get that. I, I get that. I get that. Which now I can room? finally take Kate this back room. to Kate before I'm late. Uh, Kate As room. if I have to worry about being... Keep your smart mouth shit about everything I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Who the f fudge was that? Oh, shit. Now I... Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, it's from Nathan. I'm in that. It's like a boy's picture. Because it's like blue, so. What's up, girl? Oh, look at the rabbit! It's like, yeah. Take a photo of the rabbit. Smile, dude. Yeah. Bunny queen. <laughs> oh, so cute. Postcard tissue. Oh. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Hey. Seems that way, dude. Postcard. I had no idea no, that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Postcard. Postcard, damn it. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehends it not. John 1.5. Katie, you'll always be my bracelet against the dark. Hugs and love, Pops. Ah. That's from my daddy. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. <laughs> so cute. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Oh, I like it. Oh, girl, you got tea bags and tea in here? Dude, I want some tea. Can I have some? Maybe Kate some is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from his boss about you. And some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully fog discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We'll pray for you and accept you to pray for forget. Expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. Poor Kate, dude. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Probably too depressed to play it, dude. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Maybe. Alright. Speak to Kate. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. What's up, girl? Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Because I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. Yeah. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, of course. I actually do care. We care, don't we guys? So we care what's about the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Uh, what about the video? What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Sure, I won't watch it. I won't either. Thank you, Max. No problem. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Yeah, tell me. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That sounds shady as fuck, dude. 
It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody uh, drug uh. you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Mm -hmm. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Oh, Nathan Prescott, huh? Nathan Prescott? Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. Yeah, he's not a good news, What next? Bro. All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? You can. I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Alright. Okay, let's put the book there. There you go, girl. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Alright. Should I go to the police? Hmm. If you go to the police... They're not gonna believe you, maybe. So proof might be good, but I don't want to. I think we're being a dick by going. Oh no! In the, uh. We'll say go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Oh well, who gives a shit? Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? I don't think it really matters. Either way, I don't think it matters what you choose really. Because I think either way you can still find proof and try and help her out. But like, Max, food. Two wheels. See you there. Don't hate your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Oh, with the sprawl of the fun. That's one to put the movie. All right, let's get going. I think even if we did tell her to go to the police, she would go to the police and find out for herself that they're not going to believe her without proof. So then that way we won't look a dick still. And then if we told her to get proof, I think we'd look a bit of a dick. 
saying that we don't like in her way it'll be like we don't believe her. So I think just saying like oh yeah, go to the police. Find out for yourself that they're not gonna believe you and then yeah. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. We'll lose Time the for your fifteen minutes of fame. But yeah. I think we need to let her find out for herself that she's not gonna be believed and then yeah. Squirrel. So Yes! You know another Pulitzer for the portfolio. That's how it goes, guys. But either way, I don't think it really matters to be honest. I've got the squirrel in there. I missed uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I missed six on the other one. I got some of them though. But I missed six on it. Never mind. I've got two on this one so far, so that's good. I'm gonna try and get like the photos of like stuff as I go along as well. Um, hey Samuel. Just uh, you're up early. Do oh. stuff. Hello, young Max. Hello there. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Um, animals. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. Sure, bro. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you. Say it's saw like yours. a Patronus. It's like could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Cool. That's awesome. Squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I yep. will say that Sam hasn't seen anything like that before. Surprise! Nothing's like that's happened for us. I so don't want to like, get in the freak way of your morning ritual. And stuff. I know, like we've had like hurricanes and tornadoes and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. like not for the like, freak snowstorm or anything. Yeah. But I still think it's them trying to tell it get what should be Hi, together. Taylor. Just Hi, like Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Well, fuck you, bitch. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Yeah. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends yeah. you could have. Sure, bossy best friend. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Alright. Make sure those mean money pay up, bitch. Alright. Oh, stuck. Let's go and see, um... Max! What? What do you want? This is Neiman's father. This is a message I know that Tim Slander and Black Me and my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final light warning. Bitch, what do you mean? I didn't do anything. I guess I could read them for you guys if you want me to. I'll put the like the skips of the story in the description of like, like how far along it is of that I've read it. Like, I'll put the timestamp of where I finished reading this. So if you don't want to listen to me read these, then you can just skip ahead to the rest of the video. So I'll put the timestamp in the description if you want to like just click on that and it'll take you to where I've stopped reading these things if you don't really care about them. Right, so Chloe and I ended up at the lighthouse watching the sunset. Chloe was mellow and told me more about David and his uber paranoid at school and home. It all made sense, but I wanted to know why Chloe was in that bathroom with Nathan Prescott. She told me that he deals drugs and she wanted to blackmail him to pay off some big loan. It's so strange where our lives have gone since the last time we hung out 
when we were 13. Then I had a nightmare of dus Duskmare. I was right back at the lighthouse in a storm, except this time I was following a ghostly deer until I got to the edge of the cliff. I could see the tornado destroying everything in its path, and again I could feel the cold sting of the rain. The lighthouse was crumbling and I felt so helpless watching the tornado move towards the town. And Chloe snapped me out of the dream and I told her what I saw. And as if to make the day end on an unusual note, snow started falling from the sky in the warm sunset. It felt so weird, ominous, and beautiful all at once, especially standing there with my best friend. And on that positive thought, I have officially earned a great night's sleep. October 8th, I woke up the sun a different person, even if nobody knows yet after Yes's intense revelations with my robot power and saving Chloe's life, among the other cray cray, as Victoria might say, events of Blackwell, I have to assume everything is different now, and I thought exposing my thoughts to the world was going to be hard. After Chloe dropped me off back at my dorm yesterday, I tried to find out more about that freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse, but the local meteorologists are stumped so far. I felt so jacked up that I pulled an all-nighter on time and physics research. Not being Warren, I ended up knowing less about my situation than when I started. I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected, but at this point, I have no fucking clue what to believe. I'm just so glad Chloe and I are a team again. That was to be destiny. Now I have to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord knows I need it. I ran to Kate in the showers and she asked for the October country back. I loved that book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor barged in and totally started raging on poor Kate about the video. Just to be complete assholes, they wrote the link on the mirror. I truly don't understand how they get off on acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like Battle Royale. Just without the dysphoria and explosion, exploding heads. Only Victoria could make me feel dirty in a shower. The plot thickens and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on about the video, I came back to my room to find this creepy fort and montage. Only Nathan would be this disturbed. The fort that Nathan was in here actually setting up this weird gallery is way fucked up. I better start being more careful around here. I almost want a surveillance system now. As if things here were dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan, Victoria, no clue. I really have to start watching my back. I still had to give Kate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad until I went in. All the lights were blinds closed like some emo goth then, and Kate is the opposite of emo goth. She was just crying in the dark, and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wish I could take a picture of her frame in her expression, expressionist misery. Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just a video, plus she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER, and she thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe Kate, considering what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. I see for myself exactly what that fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she could go to the police and the principal. I told Kate she should absolutely go to them, other people could be in danger, but Kate also said she would use me as her backup, which kind of scares me because of this text threat. Should I be getting this involved when somebody is obviously stalking me or worse already? This is getting freakier than I can handle. Super Max, not. There we go, that's that one done. And then Tuesday for the diner. Alright, I think I've read that. Yeah, right, there we go. I've read them both. Come on over here! <laughs> Well, hello, Warren. What's up, bro? Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. Sure, You're a buddy. real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Hell Which yeah. begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? 
I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? I know, Speaking right? of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Oh, hell yeah. For sure, dude. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I we'll love it. those old it's school date, ape bro. films. It's a date. Bro, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Sweet. Peace out. Catch you later, bro. Catch you later, bro. Catch you later, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get some of the achievements in this playthrough if I can. Hit the photos and stuff. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Yep. Or both. You never know, girl. Up, she has lots of Dia t shirts. That's the only thing that does change in this is that t shirt. Like, nothing else changes, like Ash jeans and a shirt don't change. It's always Ash t shirts. Because she had the Jane Doe one on yesterday. Now she's got this one on, which is just a DR on her t-shirt. Very pretty. It's a very pretty town. Okay, the other. Very, very pretty. It's good to have their own transport as well, like, to take them places. Normally, it just goes from, like, school to people's drop off points near the houses, but this one seems to, like, drive you wherever. Which is pretty cool. It's pretty dope. House in the distance. Nice. We're here. Time to get some chow down. And chow down on some food, my dude. Hell you. Hell you. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. What? I wouldn't dream of it. Go what? Be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going millionaire. back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. The killing? Hey, hey, I'm no, I'm getting there. Let's look at the Blanche's place again, my dudes. Groundhog Day. The. The something? The faculty? I don't know, um, I don't know that one. Breaking bad because that's Frank's RV. I don't know what this one is. I don't know. Like if I don't know them, like I said, I'll put them in again into the thing. Like I always do. Take four of the same. Let's do this. Yes, and the one for the bag, dude. Hiya. Yeah. There's one round here as well that I've got to get like a full pose on. A Frank's dog, but you probably go this way, do it. Don't know what that one is either. LP something, I don't know. Hey. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. 
I know all about Blackwell and this town. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. Hmm. What changes? What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy imagine. bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Yep. Married to a real prick. <laughs> His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. Yep. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. Yeah, get That whole dirt. family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those oh, really? days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Really? Hell, they own your mm. school, Blackwell. Almost. I have Almost? to go now. Goodbye. Alright. Peace out, girl. I think I forward, dog. Got him. Got him. Got him. There we go. Another photo done. Maybe we can go in now. Awesome. Got him. What's up, dude? Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <laughs> How long have you lived here? How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? I guess. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. In a red mission, National Weather Service has yet to come up with conclusion reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay Origin this week. Alright. Fair enough. Alright, let's just go in. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Oh, girl, gumballs. Oh, man. I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Ew, gross. This guy has serious cojones. Trying to see adventure, now character that you see many of you. Wowie. Awesome. Awesome. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Yep. Why would it? Kate Marsh love you long time. Flush before pissing on the floor. Ew, gross. Rachel A owes me a BJ. So does your mom. <laughs> no. Arcadia Gay sucks deck. Yeah, I guess so. Firewalk with me, hell yeah. Is that Chloe that's put that on there? She likes Firewalk, right? I'm just gonna wait here. Alright, sit in the booth. Alright. And 
there she is. A lovely young woman. What's up, How Joyce? How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. I like Joyce. You look the same. She's hmm. so kind. Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. <laughs> Oops, but not is. that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. Hey, it wasn't mine. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you I had to meet him. He's a daughter, good man. Dude. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for I you and you. Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. Yep. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Yeah, only done it so Chloe didn't get into trouble. Nobody's in trouble yeah. over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. Oh, but yeah. Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh. He cares about Kate Marsh. All the time. David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't mm -hmm. patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Ooh, give me that bacon waffle, yo. I was dreaming about your bacon omelette. Omelette, I mean, yeah. Now that's finish right. your coffee. I saw waffle and I saw omelette. That's bacon, that's why I said it. Give me that bacon omelette, yo. Anything with bacon is good. Like, for real. One bacon omelette for the young lady, stat. Mm. Bacon at 12 o'clock high. I coffee. love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Oh, breakfast. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Two wheels, Diamond. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. Nerd graffiti. No beer. Warren must have been here. It looks like you oh, had boy. plenty. Stick with the bacon. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Damn, that's some pricey shit. A breakfast cheeseburger? Why would you eat a cheeseburger for breakfast? Bigfoot bacon, apple sausage, crab cakes, hash browns. A bagel with cream cheese, two slices of toast, coffee, fresh oranges, milk tea, various sodas, mineral water. Cool. Starfish pancakes? Nice. I want a starfish pancake. Order ready. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. Order ready. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Incoming. Give me my food, girl. I'm hungry. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Oh, heck Here, yeah. you'll love this. Oof, give me it. 
I'm drooling like a baby. Oh, heck yeah. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Uh... Mm. Speak, Speak of the, of the devil. devil. <laughs> hey, up top, choice. Yeah. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Sergeant Call him Pepper. David if you don't want to be lectured. <laughs> Sergeant Pepper. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Oh. You got You guys girl. are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Oh no, girl. Now that that's out of the way. What's up, girl? Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. All right. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's oh, in my pockets. Dude. Let me see. All right. OK, Max. She's going to have cigarettes because she smokes. Uh, keys? Maybe? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Fucking no. Razor blade keychain, skull keychain, bullet keychain. Skull keychain? Uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so uh, wrong, Max. Get them in. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Alright, come on then. That huh? was beyond epic fail. I got the cigarette You made me want to believe you. Yeah, we'll look. Okay, Max. Study every item Keychain carefully and don't forget on anything. It. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven cigarettes. Uh, five cents. Quarter of a dollar. Twenty-five, twenty-five, twenty-five. Seventy-five. Eighty-six cents. And a parking ticket. I see Franklin Street, name for the 21st. 21st and 913, 10 a.m. Okay. Alright. Let's throw in time. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. I just mind. did, dude. Come on. How much stuff do we wind it to this dark really? Rewind it for days, dude. Rewind it, time. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Alright. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Got it. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh. Uh, panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. Oh, got him. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. Irish what luck. Else? Whoop, whoop. Money. Hmm. You got money. money, girl. Clearly, I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? I don't represent. Eighty-six cents. Did you have eighty-six cents? Yeah, eighty-six cents. I think. Eighty-six cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Oof, I'm so good. A parking ticket. You know me well. But 
What is the exact time I was busted? 10.34. 10.34 a.m. Got him. Booyah! Max Oof. can tell time. Hell yeah, dude. I'm so good. You don't even know, girl. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Oh my god. You, you know have what? powers. No shit. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. <laughs> How's the food, Max? Better awesome. than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. Hungry like the wolf. That's a good song. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. All right. Like I what? will predict the future. No way! Way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. I mean, Joyce is walking out. Oops! Dude Did you break cup. another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside. Oh, no, no. He started it. They're fighting. I'm finishing it. Joy stopped it. Oh, no. What the fuck's that? Cockroach? That's the best song I've ever This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. Right, so cockroach. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. Hey, right, okay. Let's rewind some time and tell her what. What happened? All right. Speak. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Let's do it. Uh, Tucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce Tucker, sorry, not Tucker. I don't know why I said Tucker. So what happens next? Uh... His partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Um, Jason try to fight him. Joyce beats them. Joyce stops them. Joyce doesn't care. Joyce encourages them. Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh, Drake buckles crazy. Cockroach calls in it. Fly lands in it. Cockroach lands on the jukebox. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Let's Pretty see. bizarro, Max. Yeah. But let's see if everything happens like let's you see. said. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, guys. See. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill Would you look for at you. That? See? I was Shh. right. I was now I'm going to take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. Hell yeah. To go bust some skaters. Laters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club. Don't outside. slap me, bitch. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. Oh, I'll see. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? Yeah, girl. <laughs> you know, I I'm pledge good. allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. Damn right, This girl. isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's yeah, a toy! It kinda the best toy ever? You can play anyone with no it. strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. You yeah, grow up, girl. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, yeah, that's what I course. did. Of course. That's you why you're my powerful. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, that is pretty Check out iconic. your nose. Too much Pretty blow? iconic, dude. Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then... You make let's me go flee, to one of my girl. secret lairs and fully test your power. Yeah, it's pretty you need a sidekick to guide you. Happened, okay, girl wonder. Show me the way Very to ironic. Chloe's cave. Alright, let's, let's head out. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Time to fuck Okay, himself. Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Oh. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. 
You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? Biatch? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. I'm gonna answer, because it could be important. Hey Kate. Because Kate's up? on Please, the reels don't at let the your moment, best friend so get in the way. You okay? You know, I wanna answer it. I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Alright. Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? Yeah, don't For now. Such a Let's rock. A dick, girl. I'll come with you. Jeez. <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not nah. like I won't see her in class later. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep it as it is. I don't wanna ignore Kate. Speed limit thirty. Oh my god. We're in the trunk yard. race keep up how many times are you going to get pissed at me this week that depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test okay what's the test welcome to american rust my home away from hell raw and rough it suits you max do you know how awesome this is i get my best friend back and she's also super sized we don't know for how long yeah. exactly why it's time to have fun all right what do you have in mind girl Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Yeah. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. That little toy can kill things. You know that, right? Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. Ha yuck. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Sure. Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. Yeah. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Alright, fine. Damn bottles, god damn. Photo. Hell yeah. Alright. There's a bottle up here. Get the ball. Oh, oh. Oh, bottle. balls. Well done. Well done, girl. Let's get this correct. No, we'll take it. Yeah, I got it. Got him. Got Hello, em. bottle number one. Four more to go. Hello, bottle number one. Football. The Bigfoots were here. Hey, Chloe, go along. <laughs> Call right. right. Plank of thy wood. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. This is like you have to do in The Last of Us as well. Like you have to put planks down to get across buildings. Reminds me of The Last of Us a bit. Thank you. Ooh, only three bottles left. I don't want to sit on a chair. Oh, holy hearties! Hey, Chloe! Look, I'm a pirate again. Where are you? I can't remember where you were. I'm a pirate again, Chloe. All right. See what he's saying. Anybody's gonna talk to you there? Oh, what's up, Max? What's up, Max? I'm talking. Is Dr. Graham in the house? Serious science question. I make house calls for you. What up, pup? Puts on serious science face. What do you know about relativity, wormholes, time travel? So now I'm Dr. Who or Doc Brown. For what class? 
I never got any cool time signs homework and I know this shit. I'll explain in details later if you actually help me. Like time, my texts are infinite, plus I have unlimited text messaging. I'll make you a list of essential books and websites and movies. I'm intrigued by your new interest in science. You know I like sci-fi, just to think hard about it, okay? Hit me up anytime if you have other questions. I'll be in the TARDIS getting my DeLorean ready. Yay! We are going going ape. Newburgh is 60 miles, so we should leave around 5 I drive. Hell yeah, we will will in your new ride. We have to get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first? Or whatever. Anyway, go ape. Too late. <laughs> yeah. Smooth, my dude. Smooth. Right. Alrighty, room. What's up, Chloe? Every car has its own tale and history. Sure does. That's creepy looking. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. It's creepy. Not gonna lie. All right. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? I don't know. Nope, I don't want to go there. Oops. All right. Let's go this way then. Got him. down two more to go talk about finding a bottle in a haystack wow sir oh dear that looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision that dough is the perfect photo op perfect photo op huh what's up dear dough a deer a female deer it's not real you're not gonna see it you're not gonna see it in the picture. Yeah, see, it's not even there. That's fine. Alright, I'm gonna find some more bottles. Ah! Take this ball. Got him. One more bottle to go. Nope. Got him. One from Kate. Max, I want to thank you for giving me such great advice about going to the police and telling them about anything about Nathan. I see you signed by me. Keep my keeps my safe. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm really in trouble around here, and thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry. I needed a friend. You were there as usual. No problem, Kate. I will always be there for you, girl. Eat shit and live. Hell yeah, bro. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet Chloe I can find out more about Rachel here. Rachel was here. Max was Now here. we're officially a trio. Hell yeah. We just have to find Rachel. Hail to the year, girl. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. Oh, she did. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. DJ Irish Bacon. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I want to die. Wow. Jeez. Deep. Who wrote this? No, no, girl. Pick up the ball. Da la la in this way. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty Fuck to you. Captain Club. Yes, you. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Mm hmm. That kind of 
kind of hurts. Ritual and Chloe. Oh, sweet. All right, let's get back to Chloe. -a. Thanks, Max. No problem. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. All right. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. All right. Oh. Show me the way, Max. Go right. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Got him. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. <laughs> Duh. That was so fucking cool. Hell yeah, now dude. for the second bottle. All right. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Oof. All right. Seems to go up a bit. Now, Max. Where do I aim? aim slightly above? Yep. Right between the eyes. Oof. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. All right. Mm. Give me something to shoot, Max. Ba -ba. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Go, go. Whoa! Hella yes! That was sweet, dude. Damn. Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Yeah, do that. Uh, dude, shoot I need the a target tire. before. How about aiming for the left tire? Yeah, shoot the tire. Adios, spinning wheel of death. Get him. Oh. Oh shit. Oh ge oh Jesus. All right. Uber cool. Yes. <laughs> I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't feel so good, girl. I don't know. Mr. Stark, Max, I don't feel notes. so good. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Oh shit. Oh, we're back at the lighthouse again. Or oh, oh not. Alright, or oh not. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Chat up Chloe, huh? Oh yeah. That's right. That's right, girl. Got him. Colorized. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. Uh-huh. Let's go. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? No. Just... Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Okay, sister. 
Who's that? Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Oh, shit. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute when you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was How'd... a gift. No, it wasn't. How's he got you Rachel's stole that bracelet? Shit. What the hell? Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before oh. you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Do some of my- Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Shoot him. Fuck. That is hilarious. Oh, no. man. We got I'll prank. remember you, kid. We got prank. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. I'm not scared of you. Come at, come at me, bro. Come you at have me. until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you I ain't do. scared of him. He's an asshole. Try bullets okay. next time, brainiacs. Hey, we had bullets and we used them to shoot some bottles, dude. Damn. Sorry. Play us like that, God, bro. Come on. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Anytime, girl. Let's get out of here. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. All right, let's get out of here. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And go? now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Chloe's here. waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time of Wowzer. Wowzer? <laughs> I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. I got the power. Don't fall. I got the power. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Alright. Talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Real Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new yeah. secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry. Yeah, what if Frank? But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you cash, see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. Yeah. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Frank and I kind of hung out. I remember that. Hung out? Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. <laughs> he never even Good. tried. Good. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Be careful. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. Twins. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. 
Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. Hello. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. So why? They're unsafe. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. <laughs> yeah, I know my stuff, girl. I'd rather be a good photographer. Yeah. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. But the world's scary. I can't. What the hell is that? Perfect. Beautiful. Ugh. Oh, my brain. Ouch. My brain, girl. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, shit. That's crazy. Whoa, that's a big tornado. Again. No! Epilepsy warning, please. No! I got stuck! A bit late, but yeah. Hold on, Chloe. Oh, shit, she's stuck. Uh-oh. Uh oh. What's that noise? The train. Oh, oh shit. Oh fuck. Run. Run. I'm out. Catch you later. <laughs> I'm leaving. Peace out. Let's get I can in. definitely use this bad boy. There's a door somewhere, please. Shit! I can't crowbar watch it. it at all. No, crowbar it. Crowbar it. Crowbar it. Crowbar it. Score! I'm coming. I'm coming, Chloe. Don't worry about it. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Shut your face, girl. Jesus Christ. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. MacGyver my ass, bro. Let's get out of here. Go, go, go. I'm coming. Shut your fucking mouth. Jesus Christ. Awesome. It's not locked. The train's coming! Ah, no. Shut the Max, fuck up. please! Go, go, go. But which wire to cut? It's always the red wire. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah. Now that's the right cable. I'm doing it. Shut your face, girl. Jesus Christ. Yes! Got him. I did it. There you go. You see, I did it. Why are you over there? Always in the movies, it's okay. a red wire. You saved me again. Always. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Too close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? Yeah. It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. Thank my you. powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Oh, how cheesy and cute. Oh my god. Cheesy and cute. It's raining. Oh no. Home sweet home. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Blackwell sweet. Thanks for coming Blackwell. with me. Sorry to be so boring. No, you're not boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Yeah. Listen, We're your so rewind boring. power has oh. to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake huh? up, Max. You saved my life twice now. Yep. You altered the course of my destiny, twice. yours, and whoever. Twice. I Do you know about out. chaos theory? Uh. Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Not close, I guess. I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A this perfect example of strange number. attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Hell like you he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Cool dudes. Cool dudes for days, girl. Later, girl. Back to class we go. We got Mr. Jefferson's class again. Ha. Huh. Mr. Jefferson. Uh, 
enter the Vortex Club this October. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Alright. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. Max, can we talk? I guess so. What do you want? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes. Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. Drugs are bad. I can mm -hmm. get it at Blackwell. Those are you going to bust me now, mm -hmm. Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an bad. asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat You're bad. Mm -hmm. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. Mm. What about Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's in the matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My well, concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. Mm -hmm. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It yep. will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Exactly. Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you does. anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Alright. So I'm going to look on bug. It's because my cats come into my bedroom. I keep looking at her, see what she's doing. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. That reminds me. So you can't help Knock me? Off this I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Kate. Nobody does. Kate. Nobody. Kate. 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 Girl. 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 Girl, stop. Girl. What do you want from me? I want you to save. Oh, fine. Whatever. I want to see if you're okay, girl, but bloody hell. What's up, Mr. Dre? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos, but you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. David Batson? Yeah. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. No, I should My have took that picture. And I should have been pissed at us for I being promise like, this matter is being discussed by the faculty. In, right? I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. Mm. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. <laughs> it did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Mm hmm. Alright. Yes. I'm gonna go and say mm -hmm. Lauren first. 
Warren, my dude, what's up? Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I don't know. Warren, this seems kind of dangerous. You might as well flip a switch, Frankenstein. I'm the only mad scientist without a faithful Igor. I'll choose using the scientific method. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Potassium. Hmm. Weird science. Hi, Miss Grant. Yo, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Think, big brain. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Tell you. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this, this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. Chlorine. All right. How is your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. No More problem. people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This oh, yeah. whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. For I sure. have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. Can't wait. I can't wait for fall either. It's all about the atmosphere. You're the artist and I'm the scientist. Like yin and yang. All right, catch you later. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Bye, girl. Let's go and tell Warren. I guess I'll to chlorine. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me for help? I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. Chlorine. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Yeah. I know my science, dude. Hell yeah, bro. Got him. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Hell yeah, pose, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's go, boy. That was fun helping Warren. Awesome. He's pretty cute when he's in full on geek mode. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Bo. 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 Nina, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. Got him. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch in line here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. That's a fret boy. Assholes. Come at me, dickhead. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong. And the hell weird. is he taking photos of it? That's creepy. Oh, what do I do now? 
Hey, Jacob's board. What's up, bro? Yo. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have later. a lot to cover today. Hey there, bro. So little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. I guess Kate will miss class now. Sounds like I'm you're worried about her. Video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. <laughs> What's your problem? We can thank reality TV for some of that. I got a text from Chloe. Somebody better be late. Well done there, grab for the Dynamo will feed you. Somebody better I'll be lucky if you make it by new. Max, the boss of the gun, marry me. Illegal in our origin for now. Fuck that shit, elope. <laughs> Alright. Hey girl, sit down, science brah. I'm in the sci fi lab now. I'm no scourging as kitty. See you soon. Right. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast yeah, between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- No! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Uh -huh. Listen, everybody remain seated. <laughs> nope. Bye. Right. Dismissed. I guess so, dude. Did you see that? Is this for real? What's going it on? Flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. What? What's going on? Oh my God. Kate! <gasps> Kate. No. She can't oh. die. She oh, no, 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 okay, don't do that. No, 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 okay, 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 okay. Not again. Not now. Whoa. I have nope. to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Oh. I just froze time. Hell yeah. How cool to be, be like, freeze time, like, for real, though. You get so she's dabbing like yeah, bitch. <laughs> what a queen. Keep going, Max. You got you this, Max. Can do it. This is so weird. Be so cool to be able to beds. Why? To be able to freeze time though. You get so much shit done. Like not even joking. I go any faster. A girl's life is on the line here. Well done for doing fuck all, David. Well done for making I'd want to jump, you prick. Everyone else in this school, bunch of jackasses. Let's go with the roof. Why is it not even locked? Like, it should be locked. Yes! I made it. Okay. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? 
stop. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. Don't I love it. that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter. You matter. And not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. Mm -hmm. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only. Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. <sighs> unless I put myself to sleep. No. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Be strong, girl. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. Yeah, stand That's up to them. That's the only way we can win Come against on. them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Your father does. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. See? Come on. Get down. Had a girl. There we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. <laughs> hey, we saved her. That's good. That's good. I'm glad we saved her. That's good. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Blackwell? I'll do it. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. Mm -hmm. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal up, of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's mm -hmm. just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan, 
or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Nathan Dorster, Jefferson made a cry, dude, but Nathan Dorster. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something mm -hmm. happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit mm -hmm. that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, yeah. I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, mm -hmm. please sign here to Can confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me. Uh, but. I think I can use my power again. No, nah, that's not it. We'll just blame Nathan, because he's the one that's behind all this shit. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. No problem. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Hell yeah. Look at Super me. Max the best. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren. Mm, Warren. I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, True that. what do you think is really happening? I don't know, dude. What the hell is this? An eclipse? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Aww, I believe cute. you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Oh, that's cute. That's super cute. Oh my god. So weird, though. So damn weird, bro. So weird. <laughs> Don't know why all this stuff's happening. Well, I know the storm's coming, but like... I don't know if there's a way to stop the storm happening and... Probably wrecking Arcadia Bay, but I don't know. What's going on there, then?
Is he being suspended for whatever? Frank and Pompadour. Pompadour is so cute. Like, I want Pompadour. He's adorable. It's so adorable. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. So adorable. Oh, she's in the hospital. Can we go and visit her in the hospital? Is that a thing we can do? She's under care, I guess. Make sure I'm trying thing again. Yeah. <laughs> I hope she feels better soon. It must suck to have like a viral video about you. Let's find out what's going on together. Hell yeah! Together we will find out what's going on in this damn town. We'll find out what happened to Rachel. We'll find out who's behind everything. Yeah. Find it all out. Great job. <laughs> Kate Mom. Someone's keeping tabs on Kate as well. So are these all the girls that have actually gone missing or are gonna go missing? Is Kate next to go missing? Because Rachel's gone missing. So is like the other girls gonna go missing as well? <laughs> Out of time, finished, my dudes. We done it. But yeah, I enjoyed this episode a little bit more than the other one. Like... That's good. And we got all the photos as well. well. That was cool. We got all the photos. So that was good. Um, but yeah. It's good. I'm glad we saved Kate. That's good. I'm glad we saved Kate. And she's like in a hospital under surveillance now. So she can't do anything else to hurt herself. Um, so yeah. It's awesome. Um, you told Kate to go to the police. You and 34% of people. Well, so more people told that way for proof. Alright. You answered Kate's call, you and 78% answered the call. You tried to shoot Frank, you and 55%. You saved Kate's life, you and 55%. Also, you couldn't save her as well. That was an option. So she jumps if you don't save her. Wow. You blame Nathan, you and 70% blame Nathan. Alright. You watered the plant, 60%. You helped Alyssa, 56%. You raised the link of Kate's video, 92%. You weren't friendly with Taylor, you were in 62%. You accepted Robin's invitation, you were in 79%. You wrote a message, you were in 54%. You didn't tamper with the rail tracks, you were in 69%. You didn't get into the Vortex Club party. I didn't know that was a thing. You were in 53%. You helped Warren, 43%. You told on David to Mr. Jefferson, you and 78%. Alright. This is the next episode. Let's see what we're in store for next time. Oh. Chaos Theory is the next one. Awesome. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to leave that episode of. Life is Strange there, episode 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you stayed with me from beginning to end, then I appreciate it, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you came in and watched a little bit of it and left a like and stuff like that, then I appreciate that as well, guys. But anyways, I'm going to leave this here, and I hope you guys enjoyed the episode of whatever you watched of it. And I'll catch you guys next time for streaming a video. Peace out, guys. Have a good night. Whatever the world, y'all.